staying with us on headlines now let's bring you some national news now as Eid celebrations are still in the air in the Srinagar Valley violence continues to escalate violent mobs send some uh, government buildings and the power development departments in addition to the crime branch office the power corporation offices and a police post on fire Police had fired in the air to disperse the mob after they set ablaze the police post and attacked a police gypsy in the area. But no casualties have been reported so far. German Kashmir's Chief Minister Omar Abdullah has blamed the separatists for the fresh bursts of violent protests in the valley on the day of Eid al-Fitr. Speaking to NDTV, Omar said uh, the violence will cast a shadow on the process to push for changes in the Armed Forces Special Protection Act. Now, staying with national news, after a face-off with Home Minister P. Chidambaram recently, Senior Congress Leader Digvijay Singh has now trained his guns on the Human Resources Minister Kapil Sibyl. Speaking in Jabalpur, he has said that the HRD Ministry should shift its focus from higher education to developing the school system. <laughs> School education, पर, skill development centers, पर, और मुझे विश्वास है कि हमारी अच्छाई की मुश्किल पर ध्यान दें। और इंडियन कॉलेज एक्ट का आमूल परिवर्तन आज किया जाए, और यही एक बात ऐसा कारण है, जिसकी वजह से लोग नक्सलियों के बेकाबे में आ रहे हैं। जंगल की समस्याओं के बारे में कांग्रेस को और कांग्रेस पार्टी को और in news from the capital, the river Yamuna continues to rise in Delhi, but at least for now, there's no need to panic. It has been on the rise, and after more than 9 lakh cusacks of water was released from the Hatnikund barrage upstream in Haryana, now it's flowing close to 2 meters above the danger mark. The National Disaster Management Authority is on standby and over 100 personnel from the National Disaster Response Force have been deployed to assist the local authorities. The rising Yamuna has forced the Northern Railways to cancel 25 trains and divert 36 others. On to some entertainment news from the city. While the city is gripped by the Endiran fever, it certainly is raining treats for Rajni Khan's fans as they had one waiting for them today. It may have seemed like uh, the first day first show of a blockbuster movie, but it was just the much-awaited trailer of Indiran. The main cast and crew, including the superstar himself, were at the Satyam Cinemas today to unveil the trailer of the mega-budget film. Those attending included Kalanadi Maran, director Shankar, Oscar winner Rasul Pukuti, lyricist Vaira Muthu, director Cheran and many other Hollywood actors. There was also a huge fan crowd there waiting for the superstar at the theatre. But this was just the trailer, mind you. The movie releases on the 24th of September at 30 cinemas right here in Chennai. Very excellent. Very brilliant. It's not a film. 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 It's not a it's a very good effort. I am waiting for the release of Indra. It looks like a Hollywood film, that's what I can say. Yeah. Well, celebrations follow because it is also the festival of Vinayakar Chaturthi today. It is one of the most important festivals for the Hindu. Now, it is the day when uh, people also make Lord Ganesha happy with all the lovely delicacies, the fruits and the flowers, and in turn receive his divine blessings. Here's how the festival was celebrated across Chennai. Vinayagar is our favorite deity. In fact, my father was trustee in a Vinayagar temple, which I used to visit for four years every day during my college days. My father-in-law was also trustee in a Rattapala temple. Uh, moreover, I paid advance for my flat on a Vinayagar Chaturthi day. So, Palaya Chaturthi has been very special for us. So, on that day, I take my daughters 
out in the morning to buy pulayar fruits and flowers and while my wife makes a kolkatai appam paisam and all so we offer it to god and celebrate pulayar chathi so pulayar chathi has been very special for us well that's the part i love the most obviously the food now still ahead on the bulletin it's going to be a big battle tonight but how ready are the stags for the roaring yellow kings find out on the other side